Hello guys, so I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech MX Master Mounts 3S uh, to see whether it's a good choice for you. So I've been using this mouse personally for the past two years and it is really good and I can say and I can assure that this mouse if you make an investment into this mouse you're not going to regret it but let me just break down what makes this mouse good all right so let me start off i have a brand new one here let me just unbox it to show you what you get when you buy one so there are two versions of this uh, mouse there's the mac version just for mac so this one is just the mac version and this one is for universal for windows for linux for whatever so it has two colors too one is white and one is this black i prefer this black color because it blends in with my workspace you know let's start by unboxing this so the packaging is really simple it's not quite heavy so it comes in a black box So this is what you get, nice wall design mounts, which I can say it really fits me like with your hands, you know, and with all these buttons going on one here, one here, one here, this mouse is a beast, you know. So inside the box, you get a dangle, which I don't think I'm going to use because I'm going to use this with a Mac Studio. So with the Mac Studio, it doesn't have a USB port. So I'm just going to use the wireless. You can also connect this through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So you can use this or choose not to use it. All right. So under there is this thing here called Bluetooth and Logibolt. So the Logibolt means that you can connect it with this cable on your laptop. And those laptops that have USB, but my current laptop doesn't have USB, so I'm not going to use it. Or you can connect it via Bluetooth, which I'm going to use. All right. So when you remove the, the sticker, this is what you're going to get. And this is where you set the Bluetooth. You can connect up to three devices. So one, two, three. And this is where you, you switch between the USB and or the Bluetooth version. Currently, it's I think it's on the Bluetooth. So the top is the USB and the down is the Bluetooth. So all you have to do is just to hold it and it's going to start blinking. You can see it blinking. And you go to your computer and you go to the Bluetooth section of it and just search. So I have two mouse here, so I'm going to for now turn this off, you know, so that this will be off. And I'm going to connect this one. So it's showing here MX Master. So that's it. I think it's connected now. So now you can see that I'm able to use it, which is really cool. And one good thing about this mouse is that with this software you can program it especially when you work in specific programs like video editing and photoshop you can program it so personally i use it a lot so you need to download the logitech options app but they have the new one the logitech options plus so you can download that the mac version of it and with all your logitech devices you can use that to customize it so once you download it and you install it i can tell you this mouse feels so good in my hands and it feels so smooth and one good thing about this mouse is that you can work on mostly every surface so this is a rough surface you can work on even on your bed you can work there so let me just show you with the logitech options what you can do so i have two apps here logitech options plus and logitech options but they all work one is the newer version and one is the earlier version so the logitech option plus is the new version so you can see that it's telling me i have two ms max up mouse so this is the old one and this is the new one and it shows you the battery percentage it shows you the, the way you've connected and currently it's on bluetooth and the battery percentage is 55 the battery of this mouse is really good because sometimes you charge it and over two months you don't charge it again so you just have to make sure it's well charged and that is all but even with that if you run out of power it uses type c so you can just plug in a type c and you can use it let me just show you how to customize it for specific programs so once you download the logitech options app and install it you're going to see your mouse it's going to automatically detect your mouse if it doesn't you just have to click on add and make sure that your device this is closer to your laptop then let me just go back since it's already here so you click on it 
and you can start a setup. So they walk you through a guide for you to determine the speed of the mount. So if you want your mount to be really fast, you can just customize the speed and extend razor range to 8K DPI. I've hardly used this. So DPI means I think the speed they all relates to the speed, but this is from an average user. I hardly use this. It works faster and more precisely with 8K DPI sensor, allowing to adjust pointer speed and precision to match high resolution monitors. Yeah, so basically for those people who use high resolution monitors, but me, I use a normal 1080p monitor, so I don't feel I need it, but you can just use it if that's what you want. And click on next. And this is where you can customize. Yeah, so you can use, let's say, this button to scroll. It's telling you this is for zooming in and zooming out, for scrolling. You can set it up. Let me just go to the next page and just show you. So this is the overview of it. So if you're using a Mac, Logitech will always ask you to log in anytime you are trying to create a custom setting. So that's also something that you should be aware of. So the build quality of this mouse is really strong. And as I said, I've been using mine for two years and I have no issues with it. So I believe this mouse is a good value for money and a good investment. So if you can afford it, I'll say go for it. So let me just show you how to customize it. So one thing about this mouse is that this top key here, once you click on it once, it speeds the, the mouse case out and once you click on it, it slows it down. Sometimes that's the way it is. But it all you can also customize all that in the Logitech options settings. Everything on this mouse can easily be customized. You know, everything here you can use the custom settings to customize it so right now you can see that the mouse is fully set up and now i can easily customize it so let's say once i click on photoshop like with the mouse i click on photoshop it tells me some of the things i can do in photoshop with this one the redo undo gesture but here i'm going to change it this one so once i click on this very button in photoshop i want this to export because in Photoshop to export, I have to use the shift command control. So I'm going to just use a shortcut. And to do that, you just have to click on, once you click on the parts where, let's say this button here is where I want to change, you just use the shortcut command. So keyboard shortcuts, you click on keyboard shortcut. Then I'm going to use shift command option W. That is for exporting and just press enter. And it's going to set that. So that is the way you, you can set any of these buttons here. So whatever software you are using, you want to zoom in and zoom out, you can set custom keys here. So that is all for this video. I hope this was helpful to you and it helped you made a buying decision. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please kindly do all to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you for your time. See you later. Bye for now.